Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. No respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. This is your fellow servant Malachi, coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay Church. <clears throat> I want to get into a lesson. All right. Going to a lesson today, according to the uh, the video that I posted up before this video, going into uh, uh, this article that I'm getting ready to bring up. All right. But we can see right now the different things that's going on here in Babylon the Great. All right. The Lord is making is starting is starting that build up, making that chaos. All right. Begin here in the land of Babylon the Great. All right, this place is getting ready to be destroyed, and it's being destroyed from the inside out. Okay, the people, the mirth of this place is, is ceasing. The people, they are in agony. All right, the Lord is is it, hey, this is just the beginning of the 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 more sorrows and different things that's getting ready to hit this place. All right, we see what's going on in here in uh in, in Texas. All right, people freezing cold. All right, you got different brothers have different testimonials of what's going on out there. All right, you can see that the places out there that is uh, uh, for food is getting scarce. That's out there. All right, the Lord is getting ready to bring that famine, as He just said, uh, uh, as as He said in the book of um, in the book of Jeremiah. All right, so this place is 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 slowly. Uh, uh, diminishing right before your eyes And this is the time for you to, to Run away from it Okay Go and, and, and seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Alright because this place is hey, This place is forsaken The Lord is getting ready to, to bring great judgments On this place Alright so we're going to get into this article Alright But before that uh, Just about the video beforehand you know, I work for uh, you know a big time company here, uh, down here in the uh, uh, the, the southern uh, uh, part of uh, Florida, basically the central part of Florida. All right, and this company, all right, it it basically supplies for all of the eastern side, most of the eastern side down south, and the eastern side going all the way up to um, <clears throat> going up to uh, to up to north. All right, it's a big uh, company. It's called Publix. Many people may not know about if it's, uh, you know, on the western side, but here on um, the eastern side, all right, of the United States, of Babylon the Great, it's a very renowned uh, company. But, you know, I work for it and, you know, I'm another subcontractor through this, this, this company called Publix, and we're the ones who go into the trucks and we break down the trucks and we put them uh, into the warehouse, all right? But if you don't have any product coming to this warehouse... It's letting you know whatever is inside the storehouses, all right, whatever's inside this place, all right, once it is empty and it's out there to the stores, and then once the stores are empty and you don't have any more trucks coming in, this is letting you know it's going to be a great famine. It's not only this place that a lot of suppliers uh, supply to. They supply to more than just this uh, place called Publix, all right, you have down here, you have a uh, uh, when Dixie, you have all these, like a lot of these other different uh, companies, all right, they supply to other food chains, uh, uh, so like the other uh, food chain uh, grocers that's out here, all right, but just Publix being just one of the main ones because, you know, I'm, I'm here, but, you know, going into it, the storm is causing chaos and it's causing a domino effect, all right, all throughout uh, uh, the eastern side, all right. This is just the beginning of it. But let's go ahead and jump into the uh, article. It says, um, this is from CNN. It says, miserable winter weather is still hitting Texas and it's spreading to the East Coast. It is slowly spreading. All right. And just that video that I put at the beginning. All right. It's showing you. All right. I've been sitting here since this morning. I don't see any. Okay. I don't see any trucks coming in. I only done one truck and I've been here since three o'clock this morning. All right, so that's the Lord showing, hey, 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 this is that build up, all right, for that famine, okay, <clears throat> just because of the storm. But let's go ahead and get into the article. It says, CNN, as Texans continue to cope with the effects of deadly cold weather, much of the eastern half of the country was dealing with snow, ice, or rain. 
The storm system that took shape this week in the south will continue to bring significant impacts from the mid-Atlantic to northeast U.S. Uh, Thursday, according to the National Weather Service. Significant ice accumulations and heavy snowfall are expected. All right, so just knowing that you, we're getting ready to see more uh, 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 snow, more uh, 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 rain and different things of that nature. You see that, uh, was it, a hundred and something car pull up, car pile up, <clears throat> so <lucky. clears throat> car pile up, all right, that was the cause of what? That black ice, people sliding and, and running into each other, all right, so it, it ain't no coincidence all these things are just happening for no reason. All right, this is just the start as Apostle Ramla was going into the other day on, on his live feed. It's letting you know this is the buildup. All right, the Lord's getting ready to tear this place up. So it reads on, it says about 78 million Amer Americans are under a winter weather alert and more than 27 million are going to bed under a hard freezing warning. At least 38 people have died nationwide from the winter storms or frigate conditions since oh, since last week, a time in which more than 2,500 records for the lowest maximum temperature for the date have been set. Eight other deaths are suspected to be weather related, but authorities are waiting on autopsy results. All right, so the Lord, a hey, people are out here dying, all right, because of the weather conditions, all right, because they're not used to it. It really just came upon these people like a thief in the night. These people was not ready for it. All right, <clears throat> let's read some more. Um, it says, in Texas, communities are desperately seeking warmth and other necessities without electricity and freezing or near freezing temperatures. Governor Greg Abbott was reassuring citizens he will get to the bottom of why so many people lost power this week as grid operators struggle to provide electricity. All right. And it's the Lord using Esau Edom. All right. The Lord is using Esau Edom to cause this chaos that's out here. That's that's his sword. All right. <coughs> many people. All right. They don't believe it. They're trying to figure out what's going on. But this is this man. All right. Esau Edom. The Lord has given this man uh, 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 the, 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 the wisdom, the, the knowledge, the, uh, the technology. All right. To manipulate the elements in the weather. All right. To cause this chaos. All right. And it's just making a, a, a domino effect. All right. To where this place will just eventually just crumble down. But Esau, uh, Esau Edom, he doesn't know that this is on to his own demise. This man is really trying to set up his infrastructure for what? The new world order. All right. But he has to kill out what? The middle class. He has to kill out a, a lot of different things. And by the way of his weather uh, manipulation. All right. It's the Lord on the left hand side. All right. Got his angels controlling this thing. All right. So that what? Chaos can start to happen. All right. Esau Edom thinks that he's doing uh, his own plans, but it's really it's the Lord. All right. It's ultimately it's the Lord doing all of this. All right. So it says Texans deserve in, uh, answers about why the shortfalls occurred and how they're going to be corrected. And Texans will get those answers. Abbott said, let's go ahead and get down uh, some more. You see it right here. A man shoveling that hard ice snow trying to drive through it. Mm. It says. Uh, going into what add a little warmth to family it says um, that's right here it says almost 300,000 Texas homes and businesses still were without power Thursday down around 4.5 million earlier in the week according to utility tracker poweroutage.us bad weather has helped knock out power to a further 480,000 customers in many other states, including Oregon, Louisiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Kentucky, Ohio, West, Vir so like West Virginia, Virginia, and North Carolina, according to Power Outage US. And that's all on the eastern coast. All right. So if they're not getting power up there, we know that certain different other places that's out there uh, that the product that goes on onto the trucks they have backup generators but what's going to happen when that falls all right all that food and all that different things that's out there that's just going to spoil all right so this is just the domino effect that build up all right for the famine for the famine 
for the famine of food. All right, so lock it. It says Texans official says a deep freeze start starting Sunday crippled utilities power generation, causing rolling blackouts or continuous outages. The issues affect a Texas only grid that covers 90 percent of the state and is isolated from the rest of the country. So the grid cannot import power from elsewhere to make up for the shortage. All right. So you're going to have people out here freezing. All right. Dying from all freezing. All right. Dying from famine. Hey, like I uh, basically like I was saying earlier, <clears throat> this is that build up. All right. Uh, I'm just keep going on. I don't want to make the video too long, but you pretty much get the point. All right, here it is. People getting uh, they having different photos. This is an actual store that's basically empty. So let's go up some more. Let's go up some more. This is the outages and slick roads in the south and east, and this is what you see a depiction right here of the little graph. We can start right here. It says, in the Louisiana city of uh, Shreveport, uh, some water main lines burst this week during freezing rain and other wintry weather, forcing boiled water advisories and leaving some hospitals needing special water deliveries to keep their heated systems running. So now you got a problem with the water now. <laughs> so now the water and the pipes and things are bursting now. So now they got to find uh, 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 enough coverage for water now. So then many people are going to be what? Dehydrated. All right. Stuff uh, for things to be uh, 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 cleansed. All right. Using a, a certain type of special water. You're not going to have that around. All right. So it says a local oil field services provider, CNN. Uh, CNC oil field services delivered water to five hospitals and nursing homes. Company representative Colton Sanders said Thursday, it says in Kentucky, <clears throat> in Kentucky, winter storms this week have damaged utility infrastructure to the extent that some households might not see power restored until after Friday. All right. And hey, that could be a lie. Okay. It says travel conditions are very dangerous. So on the road is dangerous. It says dozens of weather related deaths over a week. So this is the Lord plaguing this place, man. All right. That's that's about it in this place uh, in that. But we can go back here. Jeremiah 16 and four. It says they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented. Neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be consumed by the sword. All right. Who's the sword? All right. They're going to be consumed by the ways and doings of what? Esau, Edom, which is thy sword. All right. And it says, and by famine and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. All right, so the Lord is saying, "Hey, man, don't, hey, don't be like, don't, don't pray for these people." All right, as the scripture said, I believe it's in Jeremiah too. Pray not for these people. All right, this is really the Lord. This is this scripture is really going into the house of Israel. All right, because we're getting ready to see a lot of grievous things happen to the house of Israel. All right, because they were being so disobedient. All right, so it says, "Neither go to lament nor bemoan them, for I have taken away my peace from this people." saith the Lord Yahweh, even loving kindness and mercies. All right. So that's going to be the Lord taking away his, his loving kindness, his grace, his mercy. And he's getting ready to just say, man, fuck it. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to just go ahead and just bring the judgment. And it's going to bring, and it's, it's like, and the judgment is going to come raining down as waters, as rain. All right. So it says both the great and small shall die in this place. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or their mother. So the strong drinks is not even going to do nothing for these people. All right. These people are going to be so much in turmoil and, and mourning. The Lord said, don't even go with them. Leave them there. Leave them in the spot that they're going to be in, because that's the that's the uh, position that they chose. Uh, going into Galatians six and seven, the Lord is not mocked. 
all right? What, who, who, uh, whatever a man soweth, all right, shall uh, that shall he reap, all right? And these people have been sowing, all right, into their flesh, all right, going into uh, 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 eating their different eating habits and the things that they did, the things that they want for the flesh. They desire all those things over the Lord, and the Lord is going to ready to take all those uh, uh, things away from them. And the things they're going to be left with is just nothing but just the corruption that they uh, have been taking, all right, over the years. All right, how they just left and forsook the Most High, so the Lord is getting ready to forsake them. All right, going to what the two thirds of the nation of Israel, and then it's going what? to the rest of the whole world. The rest of the world is going to mourn too. So it says, verse eight. It says, "Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink, for thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai of hosts, the power of Israel." Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes. All right. So the Lord is saying in your eyes, I'm getting ready to show you. All right. I'm getting ready to show you that I'm getting ready to take all the loving, all the uh, the, the, the good kindness, all the different uh, 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 mirth that's going on in this place. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to just bring it from out of this place. So it says, behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days. We are, we, aren't we not in the last days? All right. We're in the last days and the Lord is showing us. All right. It says the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. All right. So the Lord is getting ready to bring some great judgments here in this place. He's, he's slowly taking away the mirth out of this place. And that's what we can't wait for. We we are hoping and we're praying, all right, and we're hastening the day of the Lord, all right, because we know that it is near. We know that it is nigh at hand, all right. So, hey, this is hey, this is the time to repent, all right, because the Lord is getting ready to just bring and unleash all hell on this place and people that cannot see it, all right. But hey, for those who do see it, all right, those of the of the hopeful elect. The Lord is, is showing his grace. All right. And showing you that, hey, don't fear. Because this is the time that he's getting ready to bring his great judgments. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and Akwakim. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings to you sincere and hopeful elect.